12 o'clock and we're following breaking news for you right now. One person was killed in an overnight crash on Interstate 64 and Nitro. Mm. And Nick, you've been following this with us too. Yeah, we've been keeping a look at this, Jennifer. Nitro police are telling us that one person was killed after a Jeep went over an embankment while traveling west on I-64. There's the scene right there for you. Police are there. It's not exactly clear when this crash happened, but the wreckage wasn't found until 11 this morning. Jennifer, we didn't mm -hmm. hear anything about this this Just morning. Just an hour ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, the fast lane of Interstate 64 we do know was closed at mile marker 45 as well as the entrance ramp there in the westbound lane so that's a very busy intersection all the time really. oh absolutely yeah mm -hmm. we've been uh, talking about it uh, we do have a crew headed to that scene right now we'll keep you updated but it looks real backed up right now folks you're going to want to avoid the interstate here I would say for at least the next half hour to an hour uh, we've seen some of the crew still moving but no time frame just yet. Mm -hmm, that's right. We've been keeping an eye on things too on the West Virginia 511 cams. You can see that one lane was open there and uh, cars are getting through. Yeah, that's the, at least we have some cars getting through. Mm -hmm. that, that definitely helps us out a lot in any time like this. Uh, not a complete standstill, but slow going, uh, needless to say. And hopefully we'll get a, a live look there mm -hmm. pretty soon. Okay, so we'll be updating you and in just a little bit as our crews arrive on the scene there. And Nick, um, weather wise too, um, at this hour, for other drivers, it looks like it's smooth sailing. Yes, most of us right now are in the absolute clear when it comes to what we're seeing as far as the radar goes. We do have one spot. I wanted to show you this. There it is, way up north, though, near Pomeroy. That's been a very slow-moving little cell popping up there. It's just now starting to make its way into West Virginia. Shouldn't be a problem for most of us once again. In fact, let me show you over the last uh, three or four hours here. It was stronger moving through Ohio. It picked up some steam, but now it's actually fizzled out a little bit. And th I think that's going to be the pattern throughout the day. But we do have some rain chances coming in here throughout much of the afternoon, especially places like eastern Kentucky, northern West Virginia. But again, look at this. Plenty of sunshine out there as soon as we get to the uh, later part of the afternoon, some calm winds as well, and another hot one on tap for us, but we will see more of these shower chances pick up as we head towards tomorrow, and I'll let you know just how much rain we're expecting and what that weekend's shaping up like right now. Friday looks like a wet one. All of that for you in just a little bit.